I'm attorney Aaron J. Boria, and today I'm heading into the 20th District Court in Dearborn Heights. My client is charged with one count of aggravated assault and one count of assault. Now, frankly, I think that these charges are overblown, but we've got to jump through the hoops. And the first hoop is, when you go to court, the arraignment. At the arraignment, there are two things that have to get done. The judge is going to read the information to you, and the judge is going to set a bond. When I say read the information, that means the judge is going to explain the charges and the maximum possible penalties. So for instance, assault. The maximum possible penalty is up to 93 days in jail and a fine of $500 plus cost. The judge would say that. And then any other charge, the maximum penalty, the cost, that sort of thing. Then the judge has to set a bond. A bond is a promise to come back to the court. Bond conditions in an assault case are commonly don't have contact with the person that claims you assaulted them. Bond conditions in a drinking and driving case are usually don't drink. So the bond conditions have to relate to the offense and they have the goal of keeping the community safe, that sort of thing. The main issue with bond is will you come back to court and are you a danger to the community? So are you flight risk or are you going to try to run and are you going to hurt anybody? So things that a judge will take into consideration when issuing a bond will be how long have you lived in the community, what's your criminal history like, things of that nature. Now again, a bond is a promise to return to the court and it's backed by money. So let's say the judge says uh, $1,000 personal bond. We don't post any money, you just get a promise to come back, but if you violate, if you violate your bond conditions, then you owe the thousand. The other thing judges can do is they can order a 10% bond. 10% bond on a thousand dollars is you post a hundred, that hundred will go towards any fines and costs at the end of the case if there are any, and then if you violate, you owe the balance for the thousand dollars. They can also have no 10% where you got to pay the full thousand, and if you don't post your bond when you got to pay it, then you wait in jail while your case progresses, which is a uh, which is not good. So, um, let's head on into the court and let's see what kind of bond we can get. We're shooting for a personal, meaning pay no money, leave, see you later. That's the best outcome that we can get. All right, I am walking out of the 20th District Court in Dearborn Heights. My client got a personal bond and approved for travel for a vacation. It's a good day. I'm criminal defense attorney Aaron J. Boria, and if you've been charged with a crime, then give me a call. 734-453-7806. I fight for my clients, and I get results that other attorneys simply cannot. Call me today. I look forward to fighting for you.